my legs off. Woo, look at his life. That's crazy. Nigga, got my bands up, nigga. You wanna see me piss off? Lots of bitch up. I'm not never ever let the fuckery get to me. Why not? Niggas ain't worried about energy. Alright, what's up? What's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Got my buff coffee here. You should enter code Pancake Guy whenever you shop Buff Chick Supplements because your boy needs that support. You feel me? No, you guys have been extremely supportive and I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, but Buff Coffee or Buff Coffee, Buff Chick Supplements has come out with two new Buff Coffee flavors. We just, damn, I look tired and that's because I am. <laughs> Stayed up last night watching the San Francisco 49ers and the um, Green Bay Packers com uh, compete, uh, play against each other and uh, the teams that I wanted to win won. Um, I definitely wanted to see CJ Stroud do really well in his first playoff day you as a rookie so I wanted him to do well but I wanted the I wanted the Ravens to win they they won in great fashion so that's that we just had the Inspire Athletics launch this isn't the the crew neck well it technically is the crew neck but this is a sample that I got prior to the launch but it's this crew neck and I'll just put it up here so you guys can see but we just launched not too long ago went really well there were some sizes that sold out really fast that I was not expecting to sell out really fast so I'm sorry to everyone who wanted those sizes they're gone um, if you know me you know I won't be restocking most of these items which I know can seem and sound unfortunate but it this shit costs a lot of money, I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's not very lucrative. It's fun to do, I enjoy it. But um, I think if I wanted to continue to restock, I'd probably need way more support than I'm getting now. Not that I'm not getting a lot of support, I'm definitely getting a good amount of support. But I would probably need to sell out, like within minutes, if I wanted to like restock. That would that would only make sense. So, like I just rode out of bed, and I kinda, I kinda did, I'm not gonna lie. But, so I typically try not to restock a lot of items, but I, I got a lot of cool stuff coming. I got a lot of stuff that I've been playing with, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But we are here. I know it's been a minute since you got one of these videos. I know you guys know, but I released a cookbook, so you can check that out at guideeats.com. Um, pretty inexpensive, but an amazing freaking cookbook with a lot of integrations, especially with Macro Factor app, uh, macros. Everything is in there for you. If you're not a macro tracker type of person, that's totally fine. The cookbook is still for you. The cookbook is everyone eats as says everyone eats we all got to eat but why not eat good while we're doing it and if you don't really care about macros great you're gonna get an amazing tasty meal out of the cookbook regardless um some news some updates some things that you may or may not have noticed or have known um as we know i am in the process of you know just recovering getting back to health and all this fun stuff yeah 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 blah 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 all right so i did sign up for usapl arnold's um i signed up for the grand prix i got an invitation signed up for it um the initial thought was let me get a meet on the board so that i can have options i knew i was going to get an option to compete at raw nationals without having to sign up because i'm a pro um so i was like that's not really priority right now the goal was to get back on the platform put up a decent total so i could potentially you know just snag a prime town spot at 90. um usapl has been fumbling the back quite a bit you know um usapl has done this and that and again i still hate when people are like what are you going to? are you going to ipf you don't go to ipf you go to powerlifting america to compete to get an ipf spot um for worlds or sheffield um so that's the difference there i just hate that oh are you going USAPL or IPF? It's not IPF, but yeah, they are an IPF affiliate. So I want people to stop asking if I'm going IPF because I would have to go Powerlifting America. I would have to go Powerlifting America to get to the IPF world stage or, you know, if I wanted to go Sheff Sheffield. So my goal is to absolutely do nothing. <laughs> I dropped out of the Arnold's. Um, a lot of that had to do with some persistent injuries that I haven't really talked or discussed much. Um, it hasn't really affected training in the in the sense of I'm not getting weaker, but I'm also not able to push um, certain certain areas. Um, so that's been bothering me a lot. And I think with that, going back into prep, trying to push again, I'm only going to re-injure myself even more so. Um, so the goal is to scale back quite a bit, build 
rework some things and just figure shit out and get healthy. I'm not at a point where like I can't compete. I'm choosing not to so that I can just focus on getting back to an optimal optimal health. Like I'm not gonna be perfect, I'm not gonna be 100%. As much as I know that competing is something that I enjoy and that's really fun to do and I wanna continue to do, I have to just be smart about my decisions. It wasn't, a, none of this is an easy decision for me. It takes me forever to decide because I'm so committed to the process of becoming a better and greater me and a part of that is just doing the things I enjoy and love which is competing in the sport of powerlifting um, so and I'm going to I'm going to be competing and just this year I think the way I'm thinking I might just take the, this year off of competing and just focus on my body my health and just getting to a just get to just get to a point where I'm just like all right I'm ready to step back on the platform like with this new body I built I guess that's the best way to put it but not really the best way to put it I guess would be I'm taking this year off to focus on prioritizing recovery and recovery and health like for the last 70 years we've just been, I've just been pushing and pushing and pushing in this sport um, and I'm gonna keep doing that but I think I'm just gonna take a little bit more time to recover because you don't ever get time to recover there's never a point or a period in time when you're at a certain level of strength that you have the opportunity or the privilege to recover the sport just looks so different now where we have two separate federations and you got all these meets to think about where it's different for me now where I think it's just smarter to just take take to dial it back a little bit, take a step back, figure this shit out, and then figure out what I want to do next. Because I, the truth is, I don't know what I want to do. I have no idea, and I'm not trying to force a decision based on what people are saying, what people think is going to be doing, or what people think the best place to be is, and things like that. Like, I'm not with the shit, so I'm just like, let me just figure my shit out, and then after that, I can be. I can be my best self for whatever else that I'm doing. Also, I'm hitting a lot of life PRs, man. Like, I know people say that shit all the time, but I just released my first coach book. I'm very proud of that. That's something I've been wanting to work on for a long time. There's all these other things that I can do, and I've always told people, powerlifting is a stepping stone to greater. It's never your life, but that a lot of people have wrapped their identity around that itself. I am a powerlifter, and that's all they'll ever, that's all they'll ever be. There's so much more to the sport than just powerlifting, and don't get me wrong, I'm as competitive as the next person, and I think I've proven that time and time again, and I'm just as strong as the next. That's never a doubt in my mind. However, powerlifting was never my primary focus, and it never will be. It is a stepping stone for greater. Like, I've used powerlifting as a platform to get eyes on me as a person, a recipe developer, a food and product photographer, so that I can continue to expand my businesses. Um, and that has been very helpful, and I'm gonna continue to do that. But I love powerlifting. I love competing in the sport, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing as well, too. So I'm saying all that to say that I'm just gonna take a little bit of time off to let my body recover a little bit longer. Typically, I give myself anywhere between three to four months to try to recover and go right back into a three month prep. And it's not ideal, especially at this level when I'm squatting, um, benching and deadlifting what I'm doing. My body just just needs time to heal. That's really all it comes down to. Could I go into the Arnold's and still put up a pretty good meet? Probably, I feel like I can put up an easily I feel like I can easily put up at least an 840 total um, on a bad day at 90 kg, and I don't want to just go in and just do that, just to try to get, try to secure a spot so that I can go right back into prep again for nationals. Like, I just need a little bit of time, that's all, and I need to be honest with myself about that. But that's that. Let's get to today's workout. We got squats. Um, I don't know. I think it's like RPE. I don't know. I haven't even looked at my program yet. I'm going to keep it real. So let me go ahead and do that first and we'll get to it. That done uh, 595 for a double unintentionally. I was gonna go a little bit higher than that, but after last week's performance with a 727 triple, I believe, and then we did a 640 pause squat by four. So 
with that being said, I was like, I'm feeling it today, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out 595 for a double and just kind of cap it there. So we got working sets and then off from there. Playing early in the morning. Nigga did me dirty, ran off on me. Love did me dirty, took off on me. Little hill is just full of gas, so I'm on me. I'm from the show. Uh, Jackson had to squat, and then I had to bend to someone else. That's why, right? But since it's an RG five day, it's gonna hop in with Becca and her little ass. So I'm gonna hop in with Becca and bench with her. Um, I have an RG five, so it's not gonna be mine. I'm gonna try to knock out real quick and then just get the accessories because that's really what I'm gonna Same. explained it or said this here but I've got been having some shoulder issues but Becca what is it what are we diagnosed what is it all right so after further after further review um, we believe it to be my lower trap something dealing something pushing into the scalp but mostly lower trap, a little bit of scalp I for the life of me cannot hold any weight on my chest like that and on a pain scale of one to ten was an eight and obviously that's like almost no weight uh, but once it's down here that pressing motion is so painful but I'm gonna be rehabbing that as well too as I, I mean I've been doing this for a while this is just a, I think maybe the first time I've really talked about it on here um, I've been having a tremendous amount of pain when when performing the bench press or any any other movement that's requiring me to do specific things with that pressing motion. Uh, but it's coming from the low trap, a little bit of the scap. I thought it was my lat. That's what I kept saying it was because that's what it felt like when I was doing any rowing motion or any like pause motion off the chest. I would think I naturally just assumed it was my lat, but I have the further review. That might be inclusive. That might be inclusive. So, we'll see. Is, is it inconclusive? Is it inconclusive? Yeah, I said. I said that might be inclusive. But what I meant was inconclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get straight. That's all we got for the day. Literally, that shit hurt so much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cap that and do my accessories like I said I was gonna do.
complaining about my issue I've been having in my left arm. And um, so we got a little bit more treatment and work done and I got an extra exercise to do prior to my workouts just to get going. So um, I'm gonna do, I believe they're called running bands or something like that, but I'll take a band and then just simply go in a certain plane of motion with my arm. Um, so we were probably we were doing all of that yesterday and we realized that my arm could maintain a certain amount of tension in a certain position. Um, so I went through multiple different um, ranges of motion. So you know, we just kind of figured out what I can do to add, the, add to some of the rehab work I've been doing. So this is one of them. Make sure I get a little bit of tension. Although I don't feel nothing in that arm at all. And we're killing it in the back. Been a dedicated follower. You would know that from years ago. I've been seeing Dr. Mike from time to time. Uh, but yeah, so he's definitely coming clutch with this one. Uh, wow. Uh, all the mobility work that I was doing, all the rehab stuff that I was doing was fine. But there's these couple exercises, or just this one particular exercise that he's given me, has been way more effective already than anything I've been doing. So, but also, like, I wanted to go see him. Maybe we're able to diagnose, like, what the problematic area was specifically so we kind of got it dialed in and i'll be working on that at that end i can really say right now but once we give it about a few weeks or so maybe three or four um, then i can come back and let you all know Basically, we have 551 for a quick double. Um, one working set, and then I'm gonna hit up some accessories. I got about 20 minutes or so before I need to head out. So we'll go ahead and knock it out and then get right to it. So I'm gonna do leg extensions, leg curls, um, laying leg curls, puts. No, I see the leg curls working now, so I'll do see the leg curls, laying leg curls, leg extensions, and some back extensions, and be out. All right, bet. All right, so we're back here at our work. We, today's Friday, we got Paul squats. It's a deload week, but I think I'm gonna take this deload slightly into next week and just not really push it through too hard these next two weeks. And then on my third week, like typically, I'll probably spike it up quite, quite a bit. But uh, so it is Paul squats. We got a top set of three. It's three to four again, or I think it's been like four for a while, but I'm dropping it down to three. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna hit something pretty light, something slightly over 500. Not really sure what that's gonna be just yet. Uh, but we'll start there, knock that out real quick. Got two sets after that. <laughs> I 
I said that the other time. In the Amazon. Deloading. Deloading. Too simple, right? It is natural habitat. <laughs> I think you could do another. <laughs> lightweight. Oh. <laughs> lightweight oh, Nigel. Only. There's Jamal. Oh, Nigel. There's me in that thing. So today we got a top double, I think. I have absolutely no idea what I have for squats, but we have squats and deadlifts today. But what I wanted to show you guys, the new, hold on, I think my address is in there. Let me change, let me, let me switch the angle. My address is on here too. Jesus Christ, it's all over the place. Um, but this is the new One Hans Aero Lux. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't think there's really any commentary on the One Hun page, so I think it's pronounced Aero Lux. If not, oh well. You can tell that they are like a footwear brand. They're really trying to, they're really trying to like, really be that. So you have. What you would see on some sneaker boxes is where you can pull this out if you have it in your, like, if you have it in your closet, you're trying to get to it quick, you can just pull that out from there. So I, I do like the little loophole thing here. But honestly, not totally sure how I feel about it just yet. One, I haven't worn it at all. Uh, I just got him in like last week or so, like a couple of days ago. So it's been a while since these have actually been out. So I, some of you probably have worn it before I have, so you could probably tell me more than I already know. Um, about the shoe like a lot of you guys could probably already give me way more information than Than I already have other than what the description says, which I'll post up here because it's a lot <laughs> uh, So I mean I'm gonna put them on a day uh, give you some feedback afterwards I just got to see how it looks on my feet. That's really what it comes down to Because um, it can be like the best shoe ever, but if it doesn't look right on my feet, I probably won't wear it So we'll see that I like the little traction we got on the shoe, the sole of it. Like, peep the details. Okay. They also have some new shoes coming out, which I think they've already launched. It's a lavender color and a, I forgot what the colorway is called, but basically it's a Carolina blue looking color. Um, so they have those out. I'm getting that in soon. I don't know if I'm getting both. I might just get the lavender, but I'm excited for that one because I got, I've been racking up some purple so that I can wear it. Okay, so we do have doubles. We have a RP7 for the day. So this can be anywhere between, hmm, hold on, let's see what Don did. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay, let's see. Dom did a PR double at 650, so I'll just do 650 today. So that'll be my top set. Boys been like busy, but not busy. But, like I've been busy, but I haven't been busy. But also been like really stuck on Baldur's Gate 3. I just started my playthrough. I blame Evan for that. You know my homie Evan. I blame him for that because I 
I've had the game for a while, but I've just been like holding it off because I know I get heavily invested in games. So like I just knew, and then I started, and I just I can't stop playing now. I said that I said that like small little thing about Dom. It's this small competitive thing that I have, but also that a lot of us have in this like area where we all compete against each other. Like sometimes it's very loud. Sometimes it's not at all. Sometimes like like for instance, like Evan may take you know my my deadlift double for four. Like Dom may take my deadlift like he may match my deadlift and go a little bit higher you know what I'm saying like we, we do that because we're uh, constantly pushing each other to be better anyone in Raleigh can get on this like I don't really care like y'all can take my bench my, my, my deadlift no one can match me in squats no one can top me in squats so that's not even a thing just the same way as I can't like match a lot of people in like deadlifts and bench but we can like really push each other to constantly be better and I love seeing it and I love doing it um, sometimes it's verbal sometimes it's non-verbal but like it's all love no matter what at the end of the day so that's one thing that we do here that we share that we continue to push and strive uh, continue to push each other to be better whether again it's verbal or non-verbal we see it so I know once he gets in here if he comes in today he's gonna see it and he's already gonna know why he did it that nigga Dom here So I just got done with my top set of squats and Dom had already had this on the bar and he was about to unload it all. And I was like, well, let me just go ahead and knock this out since I only have a single at this weight, which is 606 pounds. And as soon as I got done with my squats, this is really easy to kind of knock out because I'm already pretty much warmed up. My legs were warmed up. All I had to do was just go ahead and knock it out. And obviously it moved really well. From there, I went ahead and did these back off works pretty light. The day was good. It was a good day. I enjoyed myself. I did my accessories right after. Everything felt good on this day. So trending in the right direction here. I'm back up now. Back up now. Get out of here. Get out of here. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Nigga, stop laughing, bro. <laughs> Who tells that? Bro, you just throw this shit at my camera and it just falls. It's it is very shattered. It's fine. All right, well, that's the end of that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end the clip here. But appreciate you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, oh, hey. Shit, hey. oh my God. <laughs> hey. Hey. Where do you want these things? Go. That's the eye. Hey, don't let them on the beat. <laughs> I know that they don't like to see you win